Let's have a look at how to create your own number format to apply to cells. You'll remember that to apply cell formatting you can select the cells and then use the number section in the home tab. So make sure you've got home selected, come across to number and we've got some icons there for the presets for percentages for example and currency or we can use the drop down menu to dial those up as well so if we want to apply currency we simply drop down to currency and it applies our formatting to the cells now, what you have to remember is that nothing has changed with that cell it's just its appearance the numbers stay the same which is why we can change those numbers to perhaps to a date it might not make sense but we can do that because the number inside that cell hasn't changed, it's still got that formula it's just the appearance of the number that's different so you can use those preset numbers or you can create your own to create your own we need to come down to more number formats and that opens up the format cells dialog box we can also get to that if I close that from expanding the number section here click on the little icon maximize that section to the format cells dialog box and there's all our standard formatting styles that we can apply and you should know how to use but what we're going to do is come right down to the bottom to the custom tab this is where we can create our own custom number format and the way this works is we have to base this format on one that's already here and we can see the ones that are there in this list so I'm going to keep it nice and simple and start with whoops, this one which would if we applied that as it was as it is it would apply um, a two decimal places formatting to the numbers what I want to do though is just to show you that we can customize this I'm going to add lots more zeros in to increase the number of decimal places we then click OK and that formatting has now been applied to our cells lots of decimal places so for that we expanded the number section to get to the format cells dialog box we then drop down to custom and what happens is when you create your own number format it adds it to the bottom of this list so remember we started up here with this one we formatted it we modified the formatting that formatting has now been added to the bottom of the list so I can use that to apply that formatting to any other style any other cells we can also delete these styles from here that one's gone let's format this one as well um, and let's change it to have let's make some small changes as well um, at the beginning what I want to do is put a pound sign so I'm just going to type the pound sign there so we're formatting it to a currency with two decimal places and at the end I'm going to add some text uh, let's just put pounds sterling for example we then click on OK oops we've got a, an error with that we can't use that number format so I'll just click OK and it's because I need to enclose this text because it's text I need to enclose it in quotation marks OK should be better this time remember that those hashes just means that the cell is not wide enough so we can increase the column width and you can see what's happened there we've taken our formatting our raw number added a pound sign to the beginning of it and added the words pound sterling to the end and we can apply that formatting to any other cell let's try it click the drop down more number formats custom remember it's going to be at the bottom of this list now so I'll scroll down there it is and OK make that cell a bit wider so that's working with custom number formats, creating your own number format that you can apply to any of the cells. We expand the 
dialog box to format cells down to custom we've got to base it on one of the existing ones but then you can modify it to your heart's content now I've just shown you adding zeros for decimal places and adding text but there's a whole range of other things you can do as you can see from all these hash signs um, underscores square brackets you can have colors date and time formats you can add colors in I couldn't possibly hope in a short video to show you how to use all those so what I'm going to suggest you do is go to the help system type in custom number format and search and it's this top one here create or delete a custom number format and from there it gives you chapter and verse on how to create those but if you scroll down you can quite quickly see what a, a number of these things will do the main section that you want to look at are things like what a zero does what the hash sign does what the question mark does and perhaps how to and it gives you some examples there and perhaps how to add these colors that's the main section there really adding the colors and using these um, hashes and question marks and zeros so dial that up have a practice create your own custom number formats.